Hey everybody, this is Zisto, and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. That's right, we're back playing Satisfactory. It's time for a new episode, and today is a very special day, a very special episode. Because today, we are going to finally unlock and start using the most broken item in the game. Wow. That's right. For many, many hours now, many episodes, hundreds of hours, we have been playing with our hands tied. We've had the shackles on. Today, the gloves are coming off, and any other analogy you can think of, Piccolo is taking his heavy clothing, and he's tossing it to the side. Don't die. Oh, I must... Okay. Uh, we're okay. Today, we are going to unlock Hyper Tubes. The one thing... Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah. That's right. There was a patch. They updated pipeline stuff. Pretend that's not there. The last thing to unlock in the game, Hyper Tubes. And we hit the big button. That's right. Milestone reached. Fix it uh -huh. incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe based personal Pipes. transport. Pipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to listen to you. I can figure it out on my own. I know how to play these games. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I'm not. No. Let me figure it out on my own. Two thousand years later. Quite a bit of time has passed, and I've done a heck of a lot of tinkering with these hyper tube things, and I've figured out all kinds of stuff we can do with them. The potential, the possibilities, they're endless. We're going to break this game into a million little pieces. I've got a number of crazy devices that I'm going to show you how to make on this, your hyper tube tutorial. It's been so long, I even gave the base a makeover. But first, before we get into the actual devices, let's talk about all the different little pieces of the puzzle, all the different ways we can manipulate these hyper tube guys. You can see that it's red. If you just click on the hyper tube itself, if you put the uh, the different items you get on your bar, you can't actually place it. So first, we have to have a start point and an end point. So we've got this guy, a hyper tube support. These are very similar to the different support poles for conveyor belts. You can click it and you can place it and you can move it up and down with your just looking around with your mouse. And you can also tilt it. Oh, this is the really the pro tip right here. This is going to really... It's going to unlock the potential for you for hyper tubes in this game. You can also, uh, if you scroll your mouse wheel before placing it, you can rotate it. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing. And then you can tilt it after that. That's pretty good. We also have these stackable hyper tube supports. Oh my god, they're so amazing. Crazy. You can just stack them right on top of each other. It's crazy. I, I don't actually use these too often, but you can if you want. There's this thing, hyper tube entrance. I don't actually know what this thing does. I haven't figured that part out yet. Number five, we've got hyper tube wall support. It goes on a wall as described, and it can be rotated like this with your mouse cursor. And after you place it, it's a one-click place, so you cannot tilt it after that point. A little bit of a limiting factor there. And then we have one more device. We've got a hyper tube wall hole, which does just what you think. It lets you put a hyper tube on a wall, through a wall, with a hole. So, now that we know the basic components of hyper tubes, what are we going to do with them? We're going to use them to connect up the actual hyper tubes. We're going to use a hyper tube support just as an example. I'm going to place this one flat like that. Then, just for example purposes, let's do that one a little bit taller. And let's have this one be tilted at 45 degree angle. And then over here yonder, I'm going to make uh, an extra set to pair up with those guys. So I'm going to have this guy be low to the ground and maybe just flat. And then this guy, I'm also going to tilt at 45 degree angles. So if you have them perfectly parallel with another, we can now connect and actually place a hyper tube. And it is a lovely transparent device with these gold bands, like it's made of Caterium. Uh, but that doesn't make much sense if we actually go to the transportation tab. I don't know why it's in transportation tab, but it is. If we go here, we can see it's made from copper sheets and steel pipes. I don't see how you get this kind of clear, quartzy, shimmery stuff in between. Doesn't make much sense. Maybe they'll patch it, but they probably won't. So we take this tall one and we connect it to this low one. You can make a bit of a slope, so that's pretty neat. But the real trick here, which is going to become very handy... Aha! Uh -huh 
If we have them at different angles, we can create a kind of curve here. We can have a little bump there with a slope, and then it flattens out. And another bump, and another slope. Okay, so, I think you have the fundamentals. You got the basics. Let's move on. Let me show you some devices that are gonna juice up your gameplay and power up your life. So, device number one. I'm first gonna show you all the different connections, then we're gonna connect it up, and I'll show you what makes it so amazing. And I've put together some foundations here and some wall pieces so that you can recreate this on your own. So we've got one, two, three, four wall pieces, then a foundation, then one of those guys, the hypertube support. And we have an assemblage of other supports here, and I will just stand at this angle so you can recreate this perfectly. Okay, good. I will stand at this angle so you can recreate that. That's good, okay. Then down here we have four more and they're sort of bent over like that. Okay, did you get it? Okay, good. So, we are going to connect these up if I can find the right one. Okay, we want to do that one and we want to connect it to this one. We're going to go like this. Then we connect this one like that and this one like that. Okay, you got it so far? Okay, good. So once we're at this point, I can actually delete these two foundation tiles. They were just there for reference to show you how tall things were, how far to space things apart. And once we're done connecting all these tubes, we can actually get rid of all of the supports. Isn't that neat? Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's fantastic. So let me actually go ahead, click that, click that, click that, click that, click that. We can also get rid of uh, the support foundations as well. So we actually, we still need that one. Let's keep that. Gonna click that, gonna click that, gonna click that. I'm clicking that and I'm clicking that. So, now, we need to fly up here. We've got one more to do. We have to connect that up to here, up to there. Ow. Then you fall to the ground. Then we can get rid of this. And I can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. And this. And that. Okay. So, this device is called a giraffe. Oh, wait. Hang on. Now this device on its own doesn't actually do anything unless unless we connect up the final piece and I call this uh, Brontosaurus yeah wait hang on there we go so, over here in the water is the next device, and I will once again walk around it to show you the different uh, the heights, the different foundations you want to set up, and the configuration for all the different pieces. Basically, if you want to have a more in-depth guide on how to set this up, just Google Neil Pert drum set, and that should get you going. So, once again, we are going to connect this to here, that to there. Every one of these support poles has its own twin, and we want to connect them together in the fashion for which they were set up, like that. And now that I've shown you how to make it, and my tutorial is complete, we can actually get rid of the reference foundations. We can connect this to that, and this to that, and this to that. And then, over here on the side, we have a bit of a tricky one. Instead of going back and forth connecting the two, we're going to go up to down to the angled one, just like that. And then on this side, again, just like that. And then we have a variation, two different options, depending on the needs of your individual satisfactory world. So either we're going to do, we want to connect actually to the top like that. We can connect like this. Or we can connect like this. I think I like that one. Then we just do a little bit of cleanup, and there we go. So, moving on to something a little bit more complicated and a little bit more technical for the advanced satisfactory player. We have another collection of little attachment nodes. And once again, I will show you the overall context so you can create this on your own. We've got a grid of foundation tiles down there. We have two wall tiles and then two foundation tiles up here. I will show you a few different angles so you can recreate this in your own world to really juice up your base, to really kick it into overdrive. And again, if you're trying to figure out how to place all these, what the exact positions are, just Google Neil Pert drum set. Okay, so this guy is going to go there. And then this guy is going to go there. And then, similarly, this guy is going to go there. And then throwing a curveball at 90 degrees, this guy over here is going to go over there. 
All right, so we are now officially done on this floor. We can get rid of these tiles right here because they are just in the way. They are just for reference. We will just connect up these tiles which are facing downwards to these tiles which are displayed in a circle around the edges. And then once we're done, as before, we will get rid of the scaffolding. We will get rid of the different connectors because all we're after is the tube. Yep, it's an octopus. Up here on the roof, I've got one final design to show you. Up here on the corner, perched up there on the edge. Let me just break and not splat into the roof. So, once again, we have an assemblage of different connectors. We got some foundation tiles, although they might be hard to see because they are a little bit overlapping these little walking panel things. I will show you a overview so you can place it and make it on your own there you go okay good good all right so to get started we're going to connect this guy to this guy and i'm going to throw a curveball right here because not only do those two oh my gosh i can't even see because not only do these two connect we're going to continue the line that's right this is technology we haven't quite seen yet although we kind of did i just didn't talk about it we're going to connect from here we're going to continue on down to there that's pretty cool i know i know it is pretty cool then we're going to connect these, and I'm going to connect to the far side. Near side doesn't work. Far side works. Isn't that a good design? It only works one way. That's how you know it's working correctly. Okay, so we're going to connect this one to that one. See how that one don't work? This one works. Fantastic. Connect there to there. And for our final piece, going to connect there to there. Isn't that nice? Well, anyway... This concludes our initial tutorial on hypertubes, and I hope it's been very educational for you, and I hope it really spices up your base in all kinds of ways. I mean, look at the transparency on these tubes. Aren't they crazy? It's amazing. We can make all kinds of shapes, all kinds of funny-looking animals to go all around our base. That's pretty cool. So, for the rest of the video, what are we going to do? Hmm. I hadn't actually thought about that. I guess we should probably do something for the rest of the video. Oh, I know. Okay, let's check. Let's see how many tickets we have in our awesome sink. We might be able to finally buy some statues. That was the whole goal of making all this stuff, wasn't it? So we could put a lot of stuff in the awesome sink to get a lot of tickets to get some shiny statues. Let's take a look. It's been a while, quite a while, since we've had an update. Well, 1,017. That's a lot of tickets. I would like to print those, please. Thank you very much. Oh, they only go up to 500. All right, let me make some space. Print me again. Didn't know that. I guess now we know they stack to 500. For some reason, I thought they just stacked to infinity, but everything else has a stack size, so I guess it makes sense. All right, now we'll go here. Very good. And I actually have a few stuck in a box so let's see if we can find them that's right they're in here 59 awesome i've got 1076 maybe we can finally buy some statues hmm okay so we've got adequate pioneering satisfactory pioneering and then pretty good pioneering the thing is really loud isn't it this was, uh, I was, this was part of my tinkering. This was an early prototype when I was trying to figure out some stuff. Seems to be making quite a lot of noise. Alright, let's continue. So, anyway, we have Golden Nut, Lizard Doggo, Confusing Creature, and Silver Hog. We definitely can't afford, why are you so noisy? Oh, it's like the air is getting sucked up in there. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, that's definitely air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting sucked. Right up in there. In that tube. The hyper tube. That one. That one right there. That tube. Sucking air. Weird. Okay. Did I look at all of them? Uh, confusing creature. Silver hog. That is a lot of air. It's sucking. I wonder, where's it going? I don't know. Uh, Silverhawk. 
Yeah, we can definitely... Why are you... You're still being noisy. Hey! Whoa! Oh my god! Hey! What? I don't know what happened. I feel a little sick. There's another one. Oh my god. Oh, my stomach. It's churning. I feel like I might throw up. Can you throw up in this game? I think we're about to find out. And this one... Oh my god! Whoa. Oh my god, that wall. It's coming right for us! Whoa. I'm not sure what kind of animal this is supposed to be, though. Oh, hey, there's another one right over here. Oh, this one is sucking, too. Yeah, I can hear it. I can see it. It is sucking right up into this tube. I wonder, does this one work the same as the others? Huh. Whoa! Ah! Oh, my God. I said... Oh my gosh. Wait, what is that right there? It's a bounce pad. Uh, engage jetpacks. Land on crystal belt. Wow. 